Hello everybody, my name is Dallas Austin, and today we're going to be doing a reaction video to Psych to Game. And this video is two weeks old, and honestly, I could care less, um, because there's just good videos, and all around, it's good for you to know this information most of the time. So, this video is called Feeling Empty. This might be why. Or, you know, in parentheses, it says COVID avoidance, which is more likely the main topic of this. But let's begin. Do you feel empty despite the fact that you do all the things you're supposed to so you don't feel this? Do you feel like there's no reason for you to feel as low? So, um, I knew the topic of the video was going to call me out. I didn't think the imagery would immediately call me out. <laughs> yes, yes, Afro. When I asked you, did you want to do the long form videos or the short term videos? The second you said, oh, let's do the short videos first. I said, Hey, Afro's here. Let's throw him in the therapy land. Yes. Only a lost as you do. Or that everything in your life is just superficial. Don't say that. I wish for the well-being of all of my friends. Psychologists have long since emphasized the importance of having close positive relationships in our life, as well as engaging in fulfilling work activities or hobbies we're passionate about. I said for my friends, not for all people, if you want to consider that a person. But if you have people in your life, a meaningful career, and more, and still don't feel happy, it might be because you're covertly avoiding your own life. What is- I said for all my friends. Not all life forms, the fuck? Covert Avoidance. In her mental health blog, The Crappy Childhood Fairy, wellness coach and CPTSD resource provider Anna Runkle defines mm -hmm. covert avoidance as an elusive and deep-seated form of avoidance, common for people with adverse childhood experiences such as abuse, abandonment, and emotional neglect. Covert Afro <laughs> One, I believe that is a thing, but improper terminology and at the same time we're doing a mental health video the jokes don't need to go there at the moment Covert avoidance isn't obvious to other people and sometimes it might not even be obvious to you mm -hmm, that's why mm -hmm. those who have it can feel like they're doing everything right but still nothing can give them the sense of happiness or meaning they're looking for this is because in childhood, they most likely learn to become avoidant to protect themselves emotionally and psychologically. But doing so, Anna Uncle explains, stunts our psycho-emotional development and keeps us frozen as fragile children forever terrified of rejection, judgment, and abandonment. So we grow up and learn to build our lives around these fears, avoiding anything that might trigger them. And that means not forming deep emotional attachments with people, going after our dream jobs, or taking that risk we always wanted to. In other words, I'm quiet because I'm thinking internally. I'm sitting here wondering what to say. I'm singing, I'm laughing, I'm crying, but I'm just trying to stop from dying. Trying not to fall away. Okay, okay. Yeah, um, simply put, this is actually really deep to me. Um, yeah, I've done a lot of these little tricks. Words, it means living our lives from the outside looking in and pretending that we're fine with it. Examples of covert avoidance. According to licensed psychotherapist Matthew S. Boone and Dr. Jennifer A. Gregg, covert avoidance behaviors give us temporary relief. Afro, from I understand that very well. Uncomfortable feelings. Covert avoidance behaviors give us temporary relief from anxiety, shame, and other uncomfortable feelings we've carried with us since our childhood trauma. <laughs> feelings we've carried with us since our childhood trauma, but it's an unhealthy form of coping that can have detrimental and unintended consequences. Examples of covert avoidance include feeling like you're tired all the time, but can't make healthier choices like going to bed earlier or exercising regularly. Saying you're too busy to I'll be honest with you. I'd much rather you 
first off, this isn't drama. This would be trauma. And even if you are trauma dumping, I'm not asking for it. Sarah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately just comes in, just like Della's on shit. <laughs> <laughs> Me, middle of like the emotional speech. Also, you, Della's on shit. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna ban them. Sarah's cool. I've known Sarah for far too long to just ban them over a single fucking joke. To spend time with people. And attend to your relationships when really you're just shutting everyone out needing to socially withdraw for long periods of time after making an emotional connection with someone finding an unhealthy escape from uncomfortable feelings such as substance use drinking excessive partying and other reckless behaviors <laughs> chronic procrastination even with things you know you'll enjoy so this one hits me harder than anything else because i planned the stream four hours earlier today Bro, into this private therapy. What? This isn't private. This is going on YouTube later on. This is group therapy at the most. But even then, this isn't a substitute for actual therapy. If you need therapy, go to an actual therapist. And that applies to every viewer who watches this later on. Enjoy, like social gatherings with friends. Always setting long term goals for yourself without ever celebrating your progress. Thinking that once I have this or do that, then I'll be happy. How to overcome covert avoidance. Covert avoidance. You're fair on that, Afro. It won't be a place to hold it. This is a two-week video. If a video is more than two months old, I put it to the end of the line. This could come out sometime in like three weeks instead of sometime in like two months. Avoidance is really about control, explains Boone and Dr. Greg. We want to control as much of our lives as possible to avoid any of Actually, it's the first video of the day, so it'll probably come out tomorrow. ...uncomfortable feelings that may arise from emotional attachments, because our childhood trauma has left us fragile. But the more we try to avoid it, the smaller and smaller our lives become. The good news is that once we find healthier ways of satisfying our needs... What's nun mode? Um, remember how I sit in my chair, literally on my knees, like a nun? Yeah, that's nun mode. For control, hey, Slayer. The easier it will be to overcome our struggles with avoidance. So how do we accomplish this? Well, according to experts like Boone and Dr. Greg, a good place to start is getting to know your patterns of avoidance first, and then doing something different. Making a conscious... Yeah, Slayer, welcome to the therapy videos. <laughs> if you plan to run from your problems... Do so now. Choice to live life more courageously. Another alternative that Dr. Elizabeth Scott, licensed psychologist, calls active coping, addresses a problem directly mm. as a means to alleviate stress, unlike avoidant coping, which only temporarily relieves it. But it eventually worsens. This can be done through your behaviors. Actually doing something about the problem. Or your thoughts. Reframing your perspective and processing your emotions about it. So the next time you experience something stressful, don't just run away from it. Try to take control. Ask yourself, is this actually a problem? And if so, what can I do about it? Changing your behavior doesn't come quickly or easily, but it will be worth it. Because you can't keep avoiding your life forever. Avoidance is a temporary and ineffective solution that will only leave you feeling more vulnerable and alone, says psychologist Dr. Janice Webb. And the longer you stay stuck in it, the more power it will hold over you and your life. So now is the time to take back. Afro? You have Discord? Because I, I, I was watching a video for a bit and hadn't looked at chat. You don't have Discord, okay. I'm gonna try talking to you privately. I was watching because I didn't know what to say at the moment. And, um, yeah.
I'm gonna finish this video so I, I, I'm gonna talk to you for a second. Back control and stop doing things out of fear. And instead, start building a more meaningful life for yourself, one small step at a time. So, what are your thoughts on this video? Do you relate to it? It's actually very relatable as a video, and I would know a lot of these tricks, and especially how often I use them. Anyways, I'm gonna like this video, and I'm gonna resubscribe to the channel. I need y'all to do the exact same thing and get into the description. Um, so please, I'd like you to do that. Anyways, my name's Dell's Isolate, and have a lovely day. There's not going to be me plugging myself for this outro. Just go to another video if you actually want a cool outro, um, where I just improv it every damn time. So, see you, and goodbye.